Good day and welcome to 501 Maths. In today's problem, we're given this diagram where the radius of the smaller circle is 8 and we're told that the radius of the big circle is 8. With that information, we're to determine the area of the shaded region. Pause the video here, give it a try, see what you come up with. I'm going to solve it like this. First, we see that that's a right angle and that's a right angle. So that makes these two lines here parallel to each other. Next, that means that we have a trapezium, but in particular, since it's symmetrical, we have two trapeziums. So double the area of a trapezium will leave us with just A plus B times H, where A and B are the two parallel sides and H is the perpendicular distance between them. So our objective right now is to find the values of A, B and H. So let's do that by first identifying some radii on this diagram. So that distance there is going to be a radii because that's the distance from the center to any point on the circumference of this circle. So that's going to be 18. That's going to be 90 degrees because the tangent is perpendicular to the radius at the point of tangency. Similarly, this is going to be 18 and that's going to be 19, 90 degrees as well. Because those are all right angles, that means that all four sides will be 18 as well. So, next, this side here. We have a right angle triangle if you draw that so that it's perpendicular to that 18. Then, that side there is going to be 8 because that's the radius of the small circle. Which, if it is drawn perpendicular to the other line, will also be 8 over here. So, we can subtract that 8 from the 18 and that leaves us with 10. The hypotenuse of this triangle, well let's see, that's 8 for the small radius and that's 18 from the big radius. Put together, those will make 26. So this side, if we call it x, we can determine using Pythagoras' theorem. a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So x squared plus 10 squared will be equal to 26 squared. 10 squared is 100, 26 squared is 676. Transposing, we'll subtract, and that gives us that x squared is 576, or in other words, x is the square root of 576, which is 24. So we can replace that x with 24, and that 24 will also be the same there. So the perpendicular distance, h, will be 24 plus 18. So we have h is 24 plus 18. We know a is 8 because that's just the radius of the small circle. What's going to be the value of b? Well, as we can see, so far, we know it's more than 18. But that other little piece in that triangle, how can we figure that out? Well, we can use similar triangles. It can be proven using the angles, right, that this triangle is similar to that triangle. But that one is just a scaled up version, it's just bigger. So using the properties of similar triangle, we can say that the ratio of the height of the larger triangle 10 to the ratio of the base of the larger triangle 24 will be equal to the ratio of the height of the smaller triangle x to the ratio of the base of the smaller triangle 18. Transposing and cross multiplying, we'll get that x will be equal to 10 times 18 divided by 24, which gives us 7.5. So the value of B will be 18 plus 7.5, which is 25.5. So we have all that we need for our formula. A is 8, B is 25.5, H is 24. Substituting, we'll have 8 plus 25.5, which is 33.5. Multiplying that times 42, we get that the area is 1,407 square centimeters. Did you get it right? If so, comment below. And as always, if you found this video useful, please hit that like button, share with others, and subscribe if you're new here.